What the fuck is that thing? What a new thing! You know what I like? Technology. There's nothing cooler than spending copious amounts of time online. And I'm sure my ancestors are proud of me for dressing up as a furry in my spare time at the prime what age the of 23 fuck? when I could be giving myself that elusive gamer girlfriend, you know what I mean? One thing I don't like is technology yeah, that's no, wasteful no, 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 no. for profit or abuses your free time you for won. no reason. You know, imagine going to watch your favorite video and you're bombarded with ads. Hey, fair enough. All I'm saying is, whenever we have the technology to do something cool, it's usually tied to some cash-grabbing gimmick. And what better way to show off a worthless technology than with NFTs? The whole uprising of NFTs trying to be forced in our everyday lives has just led to crypto bros reinventing worse versions of already existing products in hopes of having people think they're not completely useless. I mean, bro, that's called a book. I'm waiting for one of them to go, What if we had an NFT you could just eat and consume? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! And there's an NFT vending machine? Imagine going to the metaverse just for this to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not here to talk about the Funky Monkey NFT craze and how respected ones who passed away are being used for money, or how these people are literally sucking up the yearly energy intake of Taiwan in a day. Aha, uh -huh. here's the problem. You know what they say, all toasters toast toast. Uh-oh. You bring a light? Oh. oh no, we're talking about the metaverse. Uh, holographic meatloaf? My favorite! I know tons of people have been talking about Zuck's metaverse <laughs> and his love for sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. And while I'm sure it'll be a technological marvel in the future, do you have a favorite feature to use in here? Yeah. Something that you think is very cool? Check this out. Wow. So that's pretty neat. This is so freaking cool. At the moment, many of us can barely play Windjammers with a decent ping because our internet providers keep throttling our speeds, you freaking Comcast! Now, I want you to close your eyes and imagine, if you will, your average grocery store visit. You know, maybe something like a Walmart. So, got it locked in your mind? Great. Now, at about 15 frames of lag, an area is so empty they fit in a liminal spaces tweet. And congratulations, you are now virtually shopping. And oh my god, I just want to criticize this footage for a minute. Where are the shadows? These textures look like they came straight out of The Sims. And who are you? Why aren't you animated? Watching this person try to take the item out the cart is so hilarious. You can see they're struggling a bit to grab it. Like, grab the milk. Also, wait, so it only counts the items if they go in the cart, yet I can hold them? So what if I just don't put it in the cart? What if I'm in the metaverse and I just start running with the milk? If I commit a crime in the metaverse, do I also get jail time in real life? Where'd my buggy go? Where'd my freaking buggy go? Check my buggy. Well, sorry to burst your bubble, but it turns out that viral Walmart clip that's been going around Twitter, uh, yeah, apparently it was made five years ago by a small company using it as a pitch to Walmart. But the point still stands. Shopping like this would be very lonely and just really not interesting. I mean, why? Why, why are we going backwards with future technology? There's also another demo here, this time for H&M. And while I admit it's cool looking, there's this unsettling atmosphere that comes off more like it's a FNAF security breach right off than anything. Again, in my opinion, I think it's the lack of shadows that makes it or breaks it. I mean, the floor has reflections, there's a lot of cool stuff, you know, lights and everything, whatever, but it's not hitting right for me. 
I think there's a combination of innovative, cool things and outright dumb, useless things. Like those AR glasses look cool, but all this is just unused ad space for our eyeballs. I mean, have you seen Hyper Reality? It's basically this modern day dystopian future video where life is tied to your AR device, and the more you watch, the worse it gets. Long story short, you can see how companies would just abuse this. So, you like running? Wanna make life more like a video game? Well, boy, do I have the thing for you. AR glasses will let you be able to run with the hologram. And you can even do time trials. <laughs> Remember as a kid, you'd be in the back seat and while your parents drove, you'd imagine things like Sonic running alongside the car, or maybe Spider-Man swinging by? No? Just me? Well, let's make that a reality. I'd love to make my commute to work even more interesting by racing Sonic on the highway. Imagine it! I'm just zipping through the road like this. Gotta catch Sonic! Gotta beat my best time! Oh, yeah. Yeah, so those were my basic thoughts on the absurdity of the metaverse, NFTs, and overall new tech that goes wasted. In my opinion, if you want to experience real VR fun, I suggest VR Chat or Neos. A vast majority is made by independent creators, and there's no ads. No algorithm spying on your every move, and your social credit points won't be drained if you call the local brand trash. So overall, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope as we go into the future, we have some genuine cool things about the metaverse. I don't want people to get the wrong idea that I hate everything. You know, I'm not some sort of boomer that hates technology, but I think we can all be on the same page here, thinking that a lot of this good technology is just being wasted. And at the end of the day, a lot of us just want our graphics cards. Like, come on, we just need to upgrade our PCs. Anyway, that's Tay, over and out. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.